Three months ago, I said this. We're gonna be talking about Nvidia's stock split, which is gonna happen very soon, in my opinion. I think it's gonna happen within the next three months, no later than that. And now Nvidia just announced a 10 for one stock split. In that video, I said five for one, fine, I didn't get that one right. But the timing of it, it was on flipping point, sheesh. But the question is, why is Nvidia choosing a 10 for one? Because when we look at their history, they've never done a 10 for one. The max they've done was like a four for one or a five for one, but they've never done a 10 for one. And to be quite honest with you guys, a 10 for one is a pretty bold statement. And to understand why it's such a bold statement, we gotta go look at the earnings and revenues projected from now till 2030 because the numbers are just, it's just ridiculous. So let's get down to that. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Before we get to the earnings and revenues and projections and the PE and the stock prices, all that kind of stuff, we're gonna talk about what a stock split really is. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys know what a stock split is at this point. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it is, but for those who don't know what it is, is when a company decides to split their stock to make it easier for shareholders to buy. Like for example, in the video stock right now is at a thousand dollars. A 10 for one would be a hundred bucks per share. Someone who can't buy a single share can't buy the stock. They would have to buy fractions, fractional shares. The problem with fractional shares, not all institutions or brokers have it available. So doing a stock split really helps bring a whole new, a lot of more investors into the stock. And it's just a big bull statement when it does. Now, here's the thing. Does it make the stock cheaper? Absolutely not. Does it make it easier to buy the stock? Absolutely. And that's the whole point. But the 10 for one stock split is a big, big bull statement. And in order for that to understand it, we're going to take a look at what the stock price could be from now to 2030. I promise it's going to be quick. So let's take a look at that right now. So here's a simple chart that I made for NVIDIA stock with a total revenue and net income. Made it so simple, so easy, so everyone can understand it. Obviously, if you want me to go more in depth with this, comment down below because you have to go through the data centers and the other things that they are doing and see how their business is performing. Doing it all at once here, it's just a whole lot easier to figure out some stuff. Unlike with Tesla, with Tesla, I have everything segregated because you kind of need to do that when you're projecting long term and you guys already know I'm going all in Tesla stock so the research is there but for NVIDIA it's just a general one that I just use every single quarter and this analysis after how they smashed Q2 of 2025 yes it is for them 2025 because they are like one year ahead or something it's weird how they do their you know business cycle it's, it's weird some companies do this but Q2 and the guidance was amazing as well. But taking a look at this chart here, January of 2021 all the way to January of 2024 has already been completed. It's been done. We are getting ready for January of 2025 to end. And I think there's two more quarters to go and it's ending for them for 2025 because they're one year ahead when they're financial. We, I don't get why they do this, but that's how they do their financials. And what they're projecting for January of 2025, the whole fiscal year, and by the way, the ones in blue, shaded blue, are already projected from actual analysts. Shout out to Simply Wall Street for this. They're expected to do over $120 billion in revenue, which is um, <laughs> double from 2024, and then more than a double in net income to $64 billion, which is insane. You can see what's going on for January 2026, 154, 155 billion in revenue, 81 billion in net income, and then it starts to slow down a little bit. They're, they're projecting this to slow down a bit because it looks like the thinking competition will enter. I know Intel, they have one technology that's more advanced than NVIDIA, what's going on behind the curtains. They did some deal with ASML, which shows this next level technology chip is just insane. But it looks like these guys are pricing in. The competition is going to enter. AMD is going to enter. Intel is going to enter. Potentially even Tesla's dojo may enter. So they're looking for January 2027 of 178 billion and almost 97 billion dollars in net income, which is still mad. It's still crazy. And then from 2028 and onwards to 2030, I just gave it a 20 percent growth year over year until 2030 we have over 307 billion dollars net income in total revenue and over 167 billion dollars in net income which is just in flip insane it's crazy it's insane i mean more than half of the company is profit <laughs> that's crazy what's also going to be crazy is the stock prices so if you guys want to see that that's like button better be smashed man
Come on, let's go. So for 2025, right now, or about nine, eight months ago, the stock was around 774 bucks at a P of 65. Right now, the stock price is over a thousand, but we want to see what the stock price would be after when 2025 has been fully completed with these numbers. I'm expecting, which I would, this, this would mean literally two quarters from now, which is insane. And by the way, guys, none of this is financial advice, but I have been spot on with NVIDIA with all my prediction stuff, which is quite funny because with my Teslas, I've been okay with them. But with my NVIDIAs, I've just been right on. Maybe I should be going all in NVIDIA. Bruh. <laughs> no way. No, thank you. Tesla has a whole lot hot, stronger potential, long-term potential than NVIDIA. I said it here first, guys. Smash me in the comments. But I stand by that statement. But in January of 2025, with these numbers, $120 billion in revenue and $64 billion in net income, I do expect to see a PE. Right now, the PE is around like 60, 65. I do expect the PE to be around 55 or 50. I'm going to put here 55 and that's a stock price of 1400 bucks per share. And that's a market cap of three and a half trillion dollars. Now, if you want to go down to 50 PE, that's around 1280 or about 3.1 trillion. But it looks like I don't think there's going to be any competition at the time or the next two to three years for NVIDIA. They're going to continue to smash it, so I'm gonna give it a 55 PE. January 2026, I'm gonna give it a 50 PE, that's a stock price of 1640, that's a market cap of over four trillion. And guys, let me just tell you, if Nvidia does three and a half trillion in market cap, that's like on par with Microsoft, if I'm not mistaken. I think this actually will be a bit more than Microsoft, making Nvidia the world's most valued company. And if 2026, they get these numbers <laughs> over market cap over four trillion. That's for sure. Nvidia being the world's most valued company, but that's not where the horse, that's not where the train ends. I mean, when you're making more than 50% of your entire entire revenue with profits and you're growing like this, I'm gonna give 45p for January 2027, and that's a stock price 1766 at a market cap of 4.3 trillion dollars which is just absolutely insane and then we have 2028 we we'll give it a 40 pe 1894 or a market cap of 4.6 trillion 35 pe for 2029 that's a stock price of almost 2000 and a market cap almost reaching 5 trillion and then we've got 2030 i'm going to give it again a 35 pe i don't think it's going to go lower than that knowing how high margin and how much money these guys are printing, giving it a low PE it will just be silly. That would be a stock price of 2,400 bucks per share and a market cap of almost $6 trillion, which is just absolutely insane. Here's how the stock prices will look like if it was on a graph or a chart. Nothing is stopping it right now, which is just in, it's crazy. But with an 80% margin, you know, there's a lot of blue, it says it's a blue ocean for Nvidia, but we all know what happens to blue oceans eventually. You know, you got the other guys coming as well, and I do expect that happening soon. But do these stock prices make sense? I think they do. Are they a little bit over proportion? I mean, look, if they're gonna do 167 billion in net income by 2030, being valued six trillion would be would make sense because next year they're probably gonna do maybe 170, 180, 190, right? And so on and so forth. And I wouldn't bet against Nvidia. They're they're doing crazy things right now. Now, if we adjusted here for a 10 for one stock split, this is how the stock prices will look like. In 2025, 1408, obviously divide that by 1040 bucks per share and so on and so forth, going to 241 bucks per share by 2030. Now, here is the crazy part. Here's what I mean that it's a bold statement and I think you guys can see why. If they don't do a 10 for one stock split, for example, if you adjust it to a four for one stock split, look at that, you're still gonna get over 600 bucks per share by 2030, which is still high for a stock and they would have to probably do another stock split. Doing a 10 for one, they don't have to do another stock split until probably next decade if these numbers go. But here's the crazy part. I think Nvidia is expecting the stock price to be a whole lot higher. I think that's why they're going for a 10 for one stock split. I mean, I think these numbers are fair, six trillion by 2030. I think I'm in the middle. Some are saying it should be a whole lot more. Some are saying it should be a whole lot less. I, I'm thinking around, I mean, again, if these profits are like this and if interest rates do go down and things start to ramp up and then Tesla keeps ordering more chips because now we you know interest rates are lower because they can sell more vehicles. I mean, things could get crazy with Nvidia. Things really could get crazy with Nvidia. I'm in between them. I'm right in the middle, so they could expect it to see more. Now, the bold statement, what I mean here, this shows that the Nvidia team is extremely confident that the stock is gonna continue to go higher and 
higher that a 10 for one is the best case scenario is, is the best thing to do right now not a five for one not a four for one not a seven for one but a 10 for one essentially what nvidia is saying is that guys if we don't do a 10 for one we have to probably do another stock split later on so just do it once let's not do another stock split for the rest of the decade until next decade because we, we don't want to keep coming and doing stock splits every single you know two to three four years just do a one big one and then come back to it next year or so next decade or so and then we can do another stock split then and that to me is extremely confident that they know the stock price is going to continue to go higher that they have to do a 10 for one which is again a crazy flipping moment Sheesh. now here's the thing guys i don't have any nvidia shares or stock i'm 100 percent in tesla stock and the thing with tesla i know i'm gonna get a lot of questions that when will tesla do the next stock split well at the moment they can't but i do have an idea when they can and i even though i have to update it you guys can check the video here when the third stock split of tesla is going to happen because let's face it it's gonna happen it's not a matter of if matter of when based on what tesla is doing <laughs> even the ceo in the video is, bull is bullish on tesla's fsd and that's what i'm gonna say for this video so check that video out guys get your about the t-shirt if you're a tesla investor or just become a channel member if you guys want to support me and subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.